The pledge signing initiative started in 2013 as a way of controlling exam irregularities and today we are at St. Bernard High School where he will be addressing the class of 2020. Let's join them. I'm the district director of the mighty district, the district on the rise to greatness. That's Motel. And I'm at the most important school, the school on the rise to greatness, especially in 2020, this greatness, and then will be achieved. My responsibility is to tell you why we are here. And uh, in your own document that we have in front of you, it says the rationale, and I'm, only to, I'm going to read it, because rationale advises why. What is the reason? The rationale for signing this pledge, for us having come together to do it, is to assist. Now the word assist, it means there will be one or two of you who might want to take a shortcut. But we are signing this pledge to assist with curbing and control the common issues that are coming out which are irregular during the exams. So we are curbing and controlling examination irregularities. St. Bernard's learners, the MEC has said it many times, he wants 100%. He wants nothing more from us than the 100%. And I say it to you every day, there is nothing that would make us more happy than seeing you all pass. The same time you make us happy, you also ne, will be happy. Imagine all those nights. Remember first time we were sleeping at school, you remember that? And it's not comfortable. But in order to achieve great things, you need to be very uncomfortable. They, you won't achieve anything great if you are too comfortable. One of the biggest problems about us is when you start accepting that you are not good enough. Once you start accepting that others are better than you, your mind will agree with you and you will not be better. Uh, we must actually challenge that. If there's a devil in your mind says, uh, you can't make it, tell the devil that, watch the space. Eh? So you must go there like a warrior and go fight. I, Vincent Zebela, here by so many pledge to do my best in the forthcoming examination. So that I can achieve the personal and academic goals I've set for myself. So to focus on my studies and devote all my time. So to reverse the work that I have covered during the course of the year. So and strengthen all the skills that I need to be successful in this examination. Uh, our grade 12s were signing the pledge. They were promising that they will abide by the examination rules and that they will respect even the COVID uh, regulations during their examination. We are confident as St. Bernard's that even though we have had challenges throughout the year, we will be able to make it. We have been working very hard since uh, the beginning of the year and we were stopped by the immediate lockdown but the moment we came back we, we came back very strong our learners have been coming to school from seven o'clock in the morning and they will finish at five and their saturdays and sundays they also spend at school they are a very determined group and i'm sure we will be able to get the results that we are anticipating despite the challenges that we have had <laughs> 
so today in service of our great 11, whatever you have covered, don't give up, right? So I'm all along like Zeme, Kabo Joshua Joshua Hau, Olane, and make sure that you pass. The Free State Department of Education prides itself on being number one and we hope that the class of 2020 will give us even better results by keeping us at number one and staying at number one. From us at Tlasela TV, I am Neo Putani. Remember, Tlasela TV is proudly brought to you by Bombenero Investments in conjunction with the Free State Provincial Government.